Today is July, I think, 25th, Redding, California, 2018. And we are seeing the smoke from the car fire. Look at the sun there. It's just an orange blob. In fact, you can't even see it on the video, or maybe you can. It's um, 7.30, the sun usually goes down around uh, quarter, to, quarter to nine, 8.30, something like that, so you can see how grim and smoky it is, because we are truly in apocalyptic times. This fire is something like 26,000 acres, it's burning the National uh, Wilderness Area. It is only 10% contained at this point, and it's a nightmare. People's houses are being evacuated. Whiskey Town Lake parking area. The news people that were there to report on the story are now trapped. We're just stuck there. So we're hoping that they get out safely. But uh, things are pretty friggin' grim. I'm on my way to Trader Joe's and thought I would just shoot this little apocalyptic video to tell you how lovely California is in an early fire season. Oh, and by the way, it's 103 degrees. That's actually 10 degrees cooler than it was. This afternoon it was 113. And actually where the fire is, it's 115. Now imagine being a firefighter and you're out climbing up and down hillsides, dealing with walls of flame. It's 115 degrees as the sort of normal ambient temperature, although I got to imagine that if you're fighting the fire and you're at the edge of it, it's a hell of a lot hotter. And you've got on a big heavy suit, you're carrying equipment, and you're hacking with a with an axe or something like that. Ain't no fun at all. My heart goes out to those guys. California firefighters, thank you for your heroic work. You probably have one of the most dangerous jobs known to man. Um, here to the left, not at this very second, but I can see flames out there, and you can see an enormous column of smoke. Um, we'll see what we can see. Uh, but it's pretty frickin' apocalyptic, that's all I can say. This is end of time stuff, folks. Make your wills, say your prayers, and beg God for forgiveness because it's all gonna break, be, bring us to a fiery end. All right, I'm not sure if I believe that, but it certainly sounds dramatic. Actually, I think I'm gonna skip Trader Joe's here for a minute, and I will go up to the top of the hill and see what we can see. Top Boulevard, and you can see off in the distance the car fire. Flames are now shooting out of the crest of the hill there. You can see the smoke billowing there off to the right. It's an enormous plume. The entire city is covered with smoke. And there are ashes falling everywhere. Oh, yeah. Excellent. She's freaking out. I mean, she's probably the only one not freaking out. <laughs> I would be. Yeah. All right, so we're walking around. This fire is really actually pretty serious. It's probably one of the worst fires to hit an area that's close to inhabited lands here. It is very close. And honestly, I've been through a few of these fires only in the last year and a half because Frankly, California's burning, and over the next 20 years, it's probably going to be all gone. Because there's just drought, and fire, and flames, and heat, and little vegetation. I don't know if you can see out there, there's flames shooting up between the telephone poles. But it's pretty freaking scary. You can also see a helicopter there. It's passing behind the big power pole. Uh, it's going to be dropping water or borate, some kind of fire retardant. But man, it's not going to take a lot for the fire to get here, and the wind is blowing toward us. So it's going to be a hot, scary night in Redding. Oh yeah, you can really see the fire now. And man, that smoke column is really something. If there's going to be an apocalypse, this is what it's going to look like.
I don't know if you can see the fire through that stand of oak trees there, but it is getting intense. Of course, it's about sundown, but you can just see this like incredibly smoky orange, right? So, you know, there's a little less smoke there to the north. But look to the west, and it's just completely blotted out. The sun's going down behind the fire, but it's not going to get dark tonight.